Konbawa. Good evening from Japan. And what is that? Oh, it's a little string that hangs down from my like uh, smoke detector or smoke alarm. Anyway, it looks just weird hanging there with no context of the rest of the ceiling. Good evening. Yeah, it's me again. No sumo. Uh, long staff meeting today. It's the final week of school. We finish next Tuesday, the 19th. And so we had to talk about grades and, you know, the final exams we finished. We had to post our grades, blah, 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 blah. Teacher stuff. And it went way past 5 p.m. I did not get home in time for the sumo. But I was a little bit better today. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Come on, focus. How do I make it do it? Come way back, maybe? Go to the side. There we go, a little bit to the side. So, okay. So four matches today. I don't know who won or who lost. So uh, I'm going to watch a few more with you today, give you some updates. Kind of similar video as yesterday. Now tomorrow, I, I might not have anything. And if I do that, I'll post in the community tab so it goes out to all the subscribers. No, no coverage at all. But it, most of you gave a thumbs up to this style video yesterday, so I'm going to try again here today just to have something up on the channel so you know I'm not slacking I'm not just taking time off look I'm even supporting my buddy all right there we go Akuho. I hope they treat him right you know he, he's done too much for the sport and been too important to sumo for them to treat him dirty so that's all I'm gonna say on that all right so we're about to watch Live on my DVR here. Oho versus Hoshoru. That's about where I am. Then we're going to have Kirishima versus Asunoyama. Takanosho versus Kotonowaka. The Musubi no Ichiban. The final match of the day today is Teru no Fuji versus Meisei. So those I'm going to kind of fast forward, get to, watch. Uh, but let me give you a rundown. What happened earlier, I'll tell you what's gonna, who's up on the... Uh, who's matched up for day five coming up. And I'll tell you who's on the top of the leaderboard, what happened down in Jurio. So it's kind of a wrap-up of day four, March 13th here. So uh, Takeda Fuji, uh, the Maigashira 17. Man, is he on fire. I'm so glad I picked him for my team. He is 4-0 in his debut in the top division. He beat Miyogiru today. The Maigashira 15 is now 2-2. Two two. So he is still on top of the leaderboard. Roga added another win to go to 3-1. and one. He beat Diamami. Now, Diamami came back into the top division. It's been here before, excuse me, but is now 0-4. and four. <laughs> So he's not out of it, but it's looking a little grim. He's got to start winning, or else he'll go right back down to Jurio at that low Maigashira 16 ranking. Endo got his second win to go to 2-2 two and two by beating Kitsunawaka. Churanaumi. Uh, lost to Ryuden. Ryuden's now 3-1. and one. Uh, Shimazu Umi is our first pullout of the tournament. He, uh, at Magashira 12, I don't know the reason. I'm assuming it's uh, medical. Uh, he was 0-3. and three, So with today's, he goes 0-4, and four, and then the rest will be absences. So he'll probably get demoted down to Jurio. Uh, he, the walkover Fusensho win, the free win, goes to... Nishiki Fuji, the Maigashiro 14, is now 2-2. Two and two. Ichi Yamamoto lost to Sadanoumi. Sadanoumi is now 3-1. and one. Shonanoumi had a nice uh, maneuver at the edge to beat Mitakeyumi. Uh, Shonanoumi, Maigashiro 12, is at 3-1. and one. Mitakeyumi, uh, who's on my team, I picked him. I just thought, you know, he's kind of Maigashiro 10. He's a former Ozeki. He might have a good tournament. Well, he's 2-2, two and two, so not, not terrible. Uh, Koto Shoho, 2-2, two two, beat Hokuto Fuji. Unfortunately for Hokuto Fuji, uh, not a good start. He's 0-4 and four now. He hasn't yet got a win. Shodai and Takayasu. Uh, Takayasu was undefeated going into this match at 3-0, and oh, but Shodai gave him his first loss. So Shodai is now 3-1, and one, and Takayasu is now 3-1 and one in a battle of former Ozeki there. Uh, Tamawashi got his first win, the Iron Man veteran. Maigashira 7 is now 1 and 3. He beat Kinbozan. Uh, Kinbozan's also now 1 and 3. Gonoyama, the Maigashira 6, gave Ono Show his first loss. Go uh, ono Show is now 3 and 1 at Maigashira 8. 
and uh, Gonoyama two and two. So yeah, not doing all right. But on fire, kind of like Takeru Fuji, is Ono Sato. The young man is at Maigashira five this tournament, undefeated at four and zero. Oh. He added Midori Fuji to his uh, opponents that he has vanquished uh, this tournament. Midori Fuji is now one and three. And then we have to get to Hirada Umi Surugisho. Unfortunately, uh, Surugisho has a large like device uh, brace on his knee with the covering, and it bent not in a good way when he was defeated by Hirada Umi, and uh, he could not get up from the dohyo. They had to bring out the wheelchair and roll him off the dohyo, basically. Um, so more on that in a second. Here we go with... Uh, Oho Hoshoryu. The first time they met in Monkey Haven't seen this yet. I'm kind of leaning over here to see the TV. Sliding into Oho is Hoshoryu, but bouncing off Oho. Oho. Moving well, moving forward. Now Hoshoryu gets an inside. Now they're kind of locked up in the middle there. With the left hand inside. Absorbing that initial surge from Oho. They're just hanging out. Let's see what the Ozaki can do. Oho goes oh, 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 oh! 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 That was close at the edge. Oho looks like, how did I, how did I let that one go? A bit dicey for no, the Ozaki, no he does pull out the victory. One of the judges is standing up, but I guess he's just readjusting. Maybe. I guess that will be... Uh... Oh, I think I think Oho fell into him. All right, so Hoshoru's win. Oho looks very disappointed that he lost that. Uh, he definitely had control of that match at one point, but uh, could not maintain. Ooh, now they're showing the replay. Yeah, I mean it's really close. Hoshoru's kind of balancing on the top of the Tawada, the straw bales, and oh, okay, Oho clearly his hand goes down first. So Hoshoru gets his third win. The Ozeki is now three and one. Oho, with that loss, unfortunately for him, mirror record of 1-3 and three at Maigashira 3. So he's got to find a way to turn things around a bit and get some wins. All right, going back to uh, Harada Umi Surugisho. Yeah, so uh, they, the, the response was much better. Sometimes in the past, an, a wrestler has injured himself or been slow to get up, and they don't really come out and offer assistance. And this time, Hakuho and... A lot of former big name wrestlers who were in the you know the the windbreakers doing security uh, ran to the side of the ring and the medical guy came out with a whole backpack on of medical gear and they put him in the huge wheelchair and my guess is Surugisho will pull out of the tournament tomorrow uh, with some kind of ACL or leg injury or knee injury. So if you have him on your team, that's unfortunate, but uh, I'll update you tomorrow or the next day on what happens with him. Uh, Atami Fuji got a nice win over Tobizaru to go to 2-2. Two two. Tobizaru is also now 2-2. Two two. Daesho, the Sekewake, got his first win. He's now 1-3. He beat Komasubi Nishikigi, who despite that opening day win, has not won again. He's now 1-3. And, and then we had a... Undefeated versus undefeated clash. I should really have three fingers up because both men were three and zero, oh. um, and it was Abi the Komasubi versus Sekewake Wakamoto Haru. Still, sometimes a mouthful. Um, both men entering the match three and zero, oh, and Abi was the winner. I think he poked Wakamoto Haru in the eye. Uh, and he kind of like, uh, you know, and he, and then he, that put him off his game and, and Abi was able to win. Abi is now four and oh, so he is on top of the leaderboard and Wakamoto Haru is now three and one. Then the final match where, you know, like I had, I had scrolled and saved was Takakesho versus Ura and, uh, Takakesho won that match. Yorikiri, uh, three and one. Ura put up a good fight. But uh, the Ozeki was too much, so he's now 3-1. And, one, and uh, yeah, I think he'll get his 8. Um, he's wrestling well enough that he should be able to erase the Karoban status. Ura now is 2-2. Two and two. All right, let me fast forward a little bit here. Should have been doing that probably while I was talking. Sorry about that. All right, 
So this is an even head-to-head -head rivalry between Kirishima and Asunoyama. They fought eight times, and each man has won four of those eight. So whoever wins this one will be slightly ahead in their head-to-head. -head. But it's really, I mean, you got to think, even though Asunoyama is one and two, Kirishima at zero and three, it's it, it's got to, you got to think it's a more important match for the Ozeki to, to break the egg and start to get some wins. And, you know, Asunoyama is a fierce opponent, but he is a Maigashira ranked wrestler. So, uh, let's see what happens. Intensity at this Dachi Eye. All right. Oh, they are going to go here in a second. They're taking their time. Coming in straight on. Oh, back, I looked down to get my remote and the match was over. Once again, Kirishima blocked at the Tachi and gets moved back. All right. So, Asunoyama getting his second win. Two and two now at M1. The other M1 is Ura, and they're both two and two. So, they're both looking to find a way to move up to Komusubi. Uh, Kirishima, though, is zero and four. So many of us, including me, picked him in the contest because we all thought, okay, you know, Terano Fuji's probably not going to repeat. It's going to be Kirishima that's going to win this tournament. But he's definitely not winning the tournament. I mean, at this point, he'll be lucky if he gets double-digit wins. Not that that matters anymore when you're an Ozeki. You, you can get anything above eight is fine. But, uh, yeah, he's definitely not going to be in the hunt for the cup in this tournament. Uh, even if he were to win every single match from now until the end of the tournament, the best he could do would be an 11-4 and four record. And that rarely wins uh, Yusho championships uh, in the 2020s, right? Uh, I think we've had one 11-4. I don't know. Somebody can tell me in the comments in the past like five years, but it, it rarely, rarely happens. Uh, usually you need a minimum of a 12-3. and three. Uh, Okay. So two more to go. Colton Owaka, he's two and one. Oh, and they're showing me who the opponents are tomorrow, but I will wait and just tell you all at once when I update. I, I called this an app, I think, and somebody was like, oh, there's an app for that? Um, it's really just the, the Sumo website on my phone. Um, so yeah, it, it's not an app that shows you, but it is all in English. You can, you can look at everything in English, um, and it updates live. So when I'm watching here in Japan... Uh, it updates live, and the nice thing is it tells you the kimanite in English of each match as you go along, uh, etc. So, uh, yeah, I, I use it a lot, but it's just, uh, can I tell you the website? Sumo.or.jp. Okay, here we go. Takanosho Kotonowaka. Oh, should I turn on some sound? Here we go. Comes in head first. Kotonowaka wrapping up. Takanosho, Takanosho on the run. Kotonowaka unable to finish off. Takanosho's got a nice Takenosho belt grip. Initial surge. Kotonowaka is trying to arm bar him a little bit. Ooh. Kotonowaka grabbing that right arm and using that. Oh. Recovery. Nice reversal at the edge. Takanosho is still in it. To hold on with the right arm. Sorry, I'm supposed to like pause or no mute every few seconds so As nothing gets picked up by the the bots that are checking or something. I don't know. Somebody told me that in the comments. Oh, almost a throw. Oh, oh now a leg trip, leg trip. Oh. Man, Takano Show is going to feel shitty for lack of a better word, when he watches that replay, because he could have won that match. And he was he was throwing everything but the kitchen sink at, at Kotsunawaka there. But Kotsunawaka, you got to give it to him, man. He persevered, and he got the win. So nice throw at the edge. So he's now 3-1, and one, and Takanosho is 1-3. and three. We have a lot of guys with only one win so far out of four days. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be a big gulf, a uh, big, you know, gap between, you know, the guys who are like right at the top of the leaderboard and then like everybody that's sort of fighting just to get Kachikoshi maybe by the time we get to say day 10, day 11. Uh, okay. 
So one match to go. Let me fast forward so I don't hold you up too much longer. You can get back to your lives and uh, all your staff meetings and things you have to go to uh, in your life. Uh, okay, so six and three head-to-head. Uh, Terunofuji's won six of their nine meetings, but Meisei did beat Terunofuji the last time they fought. And uh, he, yeah, he beat him last year too. So th his wins are not like a long time ago. They're in recent memory, Meisei. And uh, currently at Maigashira 2 with a one and two record. Terunofuji, of course, uh, opening day loss and then two wins on day two and three. So here on day four, he is entering this match with a two and one record. And I think it's ready to go. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's see who wins this final match of the day. And then, like I said, I'll tell you about Jurio. I'll tell you who's going to fight on day five and a few things after this. Okay, here we go. I wish I could show you guys. Sorry. Uh, if you don't know why, it's because I can't show NHK footage on the channel anymore. It gets completely blocked. All righty. Coming in straight on is Macy. Moving back. Oh. He's going to get him. He's going to get him. Oh. So there you go. Second straight Kimboshi. Uh, second loss for All right. Well, a lot of people said that Terunofuji probably wouldn't last the 15 days. And, you know, losing to rank and filers is not what a Yokozuna wants to do, right? So uh, losing to a Maigashira 2 this early in the tournament, he's now 2-2. Two and two, And uh, not out of the hunt, but uh, certainly not going to win the U show probably. I would predict. <laughs> I know that's not a bold prediction, but uh, at this point, he, he's not looking 100%. So, yeah, we'll see how long he, he holds on. Uh, it just depends. So let's see who he has tomorrow to fight. But Meisei, good for him. Akimboshi is a gold star win. He gets a salary bonus for, for beating the Yokozuna from a rank and file position. And, uh, you know, it's just a confidence booster. And it was the final match of the day. So all the sponsorship envelopes that uh, normally the Yokozuna gets to take, he got to take today. Um, and uh, when Ura, no, Nishikigi beat him, sorry, on day one, that wasn't a Kimboshi because Nishikigi is ranked at Komasubi. So you have to be in the regular Maigashira to get that special prize. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, some of our top-ranked guys are not doing great. Kirishima at 0-4, the Yokozuna at 2-2. Two two. So the other three Ozeki are not doing so bad. Uh, but uh, let's just update that. So, yeah, all the, all the other three Ozeki are at 3-1. Okay, so the leaderboard now, just to tell you who's on it. Abi. Onosato and Takeda Fuji. Those are the three guys left after four days who are all 4 and 0. Oh. They're the three undefeated Rikishi we have left. So we'll see tomorrow how they all do. Down in Jurio, Wakataka Kage won again. He went to 4 and 0, oh, so he's on the leaderboard. But uh, Hakuoho lost. So he is now 3 and 1. And uh, Wakataka Kage shares the leaderboard with a Jurio 8 man named. Asakoryu. Okay. <laughs> All right, what else was I going to... Oh, I was going to tell you the day four matchups. Uh, day five matchups. Okay. Just hit that, hit that, change that to day five. Okay. So Takeda Fuji, who is a 4-0, takes on a Jurio man because they had to bring somebody up because of... Uh, was it Shimazu Umi? Yeah, Shimazu Umi pulling out. So Toki Hayate from Jurio is going to come up. He's 3-1. and one. He's doing well. Uh, Dayamami going for his very first win against Kitanowaka. Endo Nishikigi. Roga has Chiran Umi. Shona Umi has Miyogiru. Ryuden has Sada Umi. Both men are 3-1. and one. Shodai Matakeyumi, another former Ozeki clash. Ichi Yamamoto against Koto Shoho. Ono Sho Takeyasu. And both of those guys are 3-1. and one. Hokuto Fuji versus Tamawashi. That's a huge veteran clash. That head-to-head -head has got to be massive. They probably have fought each other 25 times. 
But uh, Hokuto Fuji currently 0-4, and, and Tamawashi only one better at 1-3. and three. Surugisho, who we expect will probably pull out of the tournament, is set to fight Gonoyama, but my guess is Gonoyama will get a free win. Ono Sato undefeated on the leaderboard at the top at 4-0. Takes on Kim Bozan, who's 1-3. Tobizaru against Hirada Umi. Midori Fuji Takano, Takanosho. Nishikigi, the Komasubi, has the other Komasubi, Abi. But of course, that's a 4-0 Abi against a 1-3 Nishikigi. Daesho versus Wakamoto Haru, a Sekewake clash. It's kind of interesting they're doing that on day five. Uh, again, a huge sort of mismatch in rank, not rank, um, record. Uh, with Daesho at 1 and 3, Wakamoto Haru at 3 and 1. Ura has Kotonowaka, Atami Fuji, Takakesho, Hoshoru, Asanoyama, Meisei, Kirishima, and Teruno Fuji has Oho, the Maigashira 3 in the final match of the day. Oho currently 1 and 3. So you'd think that's kind of a softball they're throwing at the Yokozuna, but, uh, you know, who knows? All right, so that is the day five uh, lineup. But again, I know I won't be home. I'm going to retirement dinner for one of my uh, really a great guy. Uh, and and the, the interesting thing about uh, Kumazawa-san is he is one of the few guys that I would ever talk sumo with at work. And I'm actually going to give him, he's a big Tobizaru fan. So I have a Tobizaru towel and I'm going to give it to him as kind of a, a parting gift. But uh, yeah, so I'm happy to go and celebrate his time at my school. And he's been a real uh, source of uh, uh, knowledge and stuff for me, especially about Japanese history. He's just really super knowledgeable. And uh, would come to my classes sometimes and talk to the kids who I teach in English. But he would talk to them in Japanese and explain some intricacy of, of politics or something that maybe I don't know a lot about. So very great resource, and, I, and I'm sad to see him leave. But uh, he uh, he was part of the tennis club too. He's in great shape for his age, um, but he uh, will uh, have some time off and some rest, and I think it's well earned and well deserved. So yeah, I I you know I I don't drink I don't drink alcohol, so it's not like I'm going to go and get blitzed or anything. Um, but it's just going to be a long day by the time I get home. I don't know that I'll make one of these tomorrow. I'll probably take the day off, and uh, unless there's something just super crazy that happens. Uh, but I will tape the sumo on my DVR, and uh, you know, so in case something crazy does happen, I can let you know about it. But uh, if not, I'll be back on Friday. Friday, I don't think there should be any Im impediment to me getting home on time to tape the final few matches. And then Saturday and Sunday should be full coverage, day seven and day eight. Okay, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching this. I will post the public standings page of the contest on Friday. Uh, we're having some problems getting it to sync and work right and stuff. So um, just be patient. Um, you know how your team is doing. You don't have to worry too much about what everybody else's team is doing. But I know you guys like looking at that. And uh, Mike is, is working on it. But uh, yeah, I'll probably post the link to that if you want to see how you're doing against everybody else uh, on the Friday videos. Okay, so that's day six. Okay, cool. See you. Take care.